Laptops are important. Laptops are critical. Laptop is now as essential as the air we breathe, the water we drink and the food we eat. That is because most of us are working from home and we need capable machines to get the work done. Your requirements may be different from mine, but then again, we all need good machines, whatever our use case may be. If you're in the market for a powerful laptop, perhaps for graphic designing or video editing, or you basically need a powerhouse, there are multiple options for you to choose from. The Apple MacBook Pro 16 is one of those examples. Dell recently launched the XPS 15 lineup in India. What we have now is the HP NV15. This is the latest to that lineup of choices that you have. And well, for me, this quite frankly is an extremely good Windows 10 laptop to have if you need a big screen. This is what it is. A gorgeous design, all aluminum, very, very straight lines all through. Well. This looks extremely premium. So you're spending a lot of money on a Windows 10 laptop and for once, this is something that feels like it. HP have always done the designing very well. The HP Spectre lineup, for instance, just gets it spot on. The Envy this time around is doing extremely well as too. In terms of the performance that you're getting the latest 10th generation Intel Core processors, the Core i5, the Core i7, the Core i9 options, depending on which variant you pick, you also get very fast storage and you get what is essentially a powerhouse. This has a fantastic keyboard. This keyboard, I would say, is one of the best in the Windows 10 ecosystem. HP have always done keyboards very well, and this perhaps has something which is the closest I've got in the Windows 10 ecosystem to, let's say, a MacBook Pro. And I, for instance, am quite used to the MacBook Pro 16 keyboard, and it's something that I'm not able to switch to very easily if the experience on another machine is not close to that. This comes very close to it, so full marks to HP for retaining their core strength. What you get is a very gorgeous display as well and those little things that really matter all around. It's got a fingerprint sensor which is quite rare in machines still. It's got a webcam button which closes the webcam shutter. You again get some privacy there. It's got a mute button on the keyboard itself and it's got a control center short key as well. In terms of the battery life, this is again very good. You're getting for a 15 inch laptop, you're getting upwards of eight hours of battery life, at least as far as my usage was concerned, working on Google Docs, web browsing. So that is extremely good. You have music playing in the background, doesn't really drain the battery at all. What this is not is a gaming laptop, so you have to be a little careful of that. What you can do is game on this, but it's going to be still at a very limited frame rate. So you'll have to set, tone the settings down to medium to really get the best out of this. But then again, gaming is not what this machine is for. In the end, for a 15 inch laptop, 15.6 inch display, it's your choice if you want to stay with Windows or you want to switch to the Apple MacBook Pro 16. However, if you want to switch to Windows and you want to stick with Windows perhaps, your choice is between the HP Envy 15 and the Dell XPS 15. For me, the HP Envy 15 for the price tag that it comes at just offers a lot more value. It's got great battery life, very good performance, it looks extremely good, the keyboard is just brilliant and well, it's got everything going for the Windows 10 experience that I have not faced any single issue with either Windows 10 or with any software or even with let's say HP's own apps which are extremely streamlined now compared to before. So all in all when you're spending a lot of money on the HP Envy 15, be sure to know that you will get the sort of experience that you expect and that is the biggest war that it has won right from the outset.